What? What? Oh look! Look, we're on TV! We're on TV! Oh no! Oh no! What do we do? You're like, I don't know what TV is, Mom. <laughs> okay, hi everybody! I thought I would present my first video of the year. How's that sound? Does that sound like something you want? No, not really? Well, tough. You got it. And here we are. Okay, so I uh, just recently got an email um, that was generated by the contact form on my site, www.dissonance.com. And as you can tell, I'm moving things around so I can see this better. And I thought I would uh, kind of take a moment to look at this video or this email and ex respond to it because this one kind of got to me right away. Um, and I wanted it to be something I took a moment to deal with. Here we go. <coughs> um, I'm not going to use the name, I'm not going to use the other stuff, but I want to address a couple of things. This person is feeling, um, in their ter words, very tortured and conflicted. Um, they feel like they failed to be something. Uh, religion had a huge impact in their lives and how they're doing stuff. Um, they're married. They have, you know, a family. They have stuff. They've uh, tried dressing to, to alleviate some of the issues and so forth. And, you know, a lot of people start like that. But the thing that got me is that they're afraid that it's too late for them, that they see these stories of really, really pretty people doing really cool things and that they were all trans. And they've seen about how they all started much, much younger than their age, which is, in this case, 42. And I'd like to address that real quick, if I can. Um, you know, a lot of people aren't necessarily aware that uh, I did not start out very young. <laughs> um, in fact, the reason why I, I try not to smile too much, even though I smile all the time, because it's just kind of, I'm that happy all the time, um, is because I'm, I'm ashamed of the fact that I didn't take care of myself as a physical body for many years. Um, and there's some damage to my, my life that's I'm still working through. But I didn't start until I was 41. And I know people who haven't started until they're in their late 70s. So it really isn't ever too late to start your transition. Um, there's, there's not a time that's right. There's not a time that's wrong. You don't gain benefits that are superb from transitioning young unless it's really, really young. Like, you know, before 10. And then you get a lot of, of personal and social benefits that come down the road because it's no longer an issue. Oh, sorry. And there's no such thing as too late to transition either. That's really important that people understand. It's really important that people get. The, uh, the best time to transition is when you can. Flat out. They're, they, I mean, that's it. No matter what your age is, no matter what your time is. Again, I started at 41. And when I say I started at 41, I'm looking at this person saying they, they're 42 years old. And I want to point out that um, I started out in October, and my birthday is in January. So I was a lot closer to 42 than I was to 41. And I want you, the person who wrote this thing, to understand that you don't have to worry about your age. Your age does not matter. Your age is not the most important thing. And you can be the things that you need to be, the things that you want to be. Um, it's not so much that, you know, people are looking like a man that's trying to get by or something. I mean, I was a pretty macho freaking dude. I was not metrosexual. I was not, you know, kind of effeminate. I was, I was seriously macho, <laughs> which I know now doesn't quite make sense because you're looking at me going, how can that be macho? But really, I, I was, was horrifically macho. I was, yeah, I was bad. Um, but that's that's a challenge. The other half of that challenge is causing harm to your <coughs> your family. And a lot of us worry about that. I was married at the time. I was separated, but I was married. Um, and to be perfectly blunt, as a result, I, I did lose contact with uh, my spouse, who I'm technically still married to. I did lose contact with all my children. Um, I have five children, and I recently found out I have four grandchildren. So yes, this is a grandmother. Um, and 
it was nearly six years before I came into contact with my, my youngest son again. And that has been a huge issue, a huge not issue, um, benefit to me. It's been just amazing and wonderful, and I am absolutely thrilled to have that opportunity to be with him. And it's hilarious because we're exchanging things on Facebook all the time, and it's just it's <laughs> it's a kick. Um, but don't stress a lot of that because ultimately, if you're not living your life as who you are. If you're not living your life is what you are, um, you're not living your life. It's it's the life that you you're trying to pretend you you want that you're trying to pretend you should live, and while that it creates a lot of, of tension and everything, believe me. Although the first two years, sometimes three, really really freaking suck. Don't get me wrong. Transition is not easy. It's not fun. But once you get through it, what's on the other side is is amazing and incredible. And just wonderful. And if you're wondering why it is that my voice sounds so horrible, it's because I did just get back from creating change and my throat still hasn't quite healed from all the uh, talking that I did while I was there. I lost my voice. Um, so this is what's come back. But truly, um, you know, look around, see what's available. Um, feel free to, to sit, use my contact form again. Um, my email address through my blog is descendants at hotmail.com. Um, contact me and I'll see what I can do to help. I can't say that I can help everyone because I have a lot to do and I don't know everything. But I know a lot and what I don't know I can usually find somebody to help you with. So be good, be happy, and I'll see you around. If I can ever figure out how to turn the thing off. Oh my god, I'm so confused. It's just so hard. I found it. Okay. Bye.